I was not willing to make the third part today. I'm supposed to be home right now, actually. I finished with the connecting rods, okay? I put back in the boxes, I have the numbers. I need to check tomorrow the compression height of the pistons, like I said on the previous part. I think that I mentioned, if I remember right. Piston ring, gap. What do we have? The second one, what the hell is that? Why has it? What was that? Grease? Maybe, anyhow. Uh, the second piston ring, it's 0.5, half millimeter. Okay? The first one, the top piston ring, it's 0.28, the number one, quarter of a millimeter. The two, three, and four. 0.25, 0.25, 0.25. Now, for a stock application, it can be fine. You can just put it as it is. If you don't put a turbo upgrade, if you don't increase the boost, if you don't touch the ignition timing, it can be fine. But not with a turbo upgrade with different ignition timing, with different output. Because of the temperature, you're going to expand and then you're going to have different problems there. You're not going to stay like that. Usually, the classic one is 22,000 an inch. On this bore size, it's 0.55 to 0.6 of a millimeter. Nothing more than this, nothing less than this. And it doesn't affect the compression pressure. That means if you get compression pressure as it is right now, and if you gap it and you do that again, trust me, you're not going to see any difference. You're going to be exactly the same. Uh, now, what I want to say, the number one that's 0.28, it's not because of the cylinder, it's because of the piston ring. Why? Because I placed the number one, I took it from the number one, the top piston ring here, and I placed on the number three, and I get again 0.28. That's the, the piston ring, okay? It's not the cylinder, just to be clear. Machining it on my favorite tool, made in USA, not bad, not bad. I don't know how many years I have this one. The only modifications, what I, modification what I did on that, I changed the dial indicator from an inch to millimeters, okay? So, setting up the pistonic gap, putting in a box, I will get the weight again, just in case, it's supposed to be the same, a small difference, a little bit material, it might register 0.1 gram, that it's not affecting anything, and moving on, and like I said also in the previous part, have a nice weekend, right, by the way, whoa, I forget, this guy, you guys in USA, you think that you are measuring in inch, right? Uh, think again, search a little bit to see what's supposed to be the... It's supposed to don't be in inches, but in millimeters. You know, um, I watched this from one scientist that he explained that from one video that I watch uh, smarter every day, I think. I think, yeah, a long time ago. It just now came to my mind. You know, Tassels your nuts, right? Yeah, maybe. Uh, in any case... Moving on with the Pistonic Gap. That's what I have to say. I hope that I cover you and standing by to see what they're going to tell me from the office regarding cranks of main bearings, bolts, seals, and all the rest of the parts. All right. Uh, I mentioned before that I don't have the oil pump. I never received the oil pump. It was not in the box. These three bolts, like I said, it's supposed to be for the oil pump. I'm repeating myself once again. Yeah. Pistonic Gap. Thank you. Have a good night.